Now, from the Sports Station, powered by Hamilton Orthopedics Spine and Sports Medicine, here is News Channel 2 Sports Director, Spencer Davidson. Good evening. We're in the final few days of the PGCBL regular season, and tonight it was local rivalry night as the Utica Blue Sox hosted the Oneonta Outlaws in a doubleheader. To Renane Field in Utica, Blue Sox dominated the Outlaws, a 12-0 shutout win in Game 1. Here in Game 2, with the Diamond Dogs nipping at their heels, the Sox can clinch second place in the East and a home playoff game with a win. Bottom of the first, they're off to a good start. Andre Demetral has Ben Partridge on third. He lofts it out to deep left field. Deep enough for Partridge to tag and come home on the sacrifice fly. Blue Sox grab the early lead. They'd add two in the second off a bases loaded hit by pitch and walk. Top four, Utica native Thomas Raffaro dealing to this point. Six strikeouts in the night, including getting Ethan Duda swinging with a man on third. That earned everyone in attendance a free taco from Taco Bell. The Proctor grad, a man of the people. But then the outlaws start to get to him. Runner still on third, Eric Smith at the dish. He lines it the other way to left for a base hit. Connor Roche comes home. Oneonta is on the board down three to one. Later in the inning, two on for Little Falls grad Chase Regan and the former Mountie making some noise as he laces it to right. It drops in the shallow grass. Chris Ubner scores. Here comes Ryan Leary. Two RBI single for Regan and we're tied at three. From there, it'd be more of a pitcher's duel as Brandon Scott ends the top of the fifth with some heat, getting Duda swinging through. Only one free taco per person, though. The Blue Sox would score with Caius Gargett stealing home, stealing home in the bottom of the sixth. Utica wins 4-3 to three to sweep the doubleheader and clinch the two seed in the playoffs. So the best the Diamond Dogs can do is third in the East now. They did get closer to locking that up as Mohawk Valley beat the Boonville Lumberjacks in another local rivalry game tonight in Little Falls. Sebastian Muller and Sam Miller each drove in a pair for the Dogs. A local high school golfer is currently competing at the New York State Junior Golf Championships in Lake Placid and finds himself heading into the final round, still in the hunt. Jake Oliarzik, who will be heading into his junior year at Holland Patton High School, is currently tied for 10th in the tournament, making the cut for tomorrow's final round in the 81st New York State 18 and under Boys Championship. After a tough five over par first round yesterday, the Golden Knights standout shot a three under 68 today to get himself two over through two rounds. The current leader sits at six under for the tournament. Oliarzik tees off in the third and final round tomorrow at 9.01 a.m.